All right, we're live. I'm gonna be talking. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the Lone Star Park. Lone Star Park in Dallas, Texas. Tons the Academy versus photo finish. Now, we're, we're going live for this game in particular because Paolo, Paul Cugini, is playing right now with um, a couple of guys, a random team, right, Cugini? Yep. This is I think uh, one of the major sponsors. Major, oh, really? Yes. And it just so happens that Luigi is playing with Luigi, who's from Italy as well, like Paul. Yep. Uh, which is, I feel like, perfect. Uh, right now, you already got myself, Dante Level, and Anthony Cugini in the booth. Francesca Cugini is incredibly upset right now because she has to play the first game for us. She was the fifth on our roster. Um, we need her to start the first game. She really doesn't want to play, though. But she's going to have to. Yeah, Carm got stuck in, da in uh, where? Uh, Washington Dulles. Shocked. I know for the viewers who know Carmen, shocked that he was out in a different town. But he'll be here hopefully it's in a good the next roll. couple hours. So this is Lone Star Park. This is actually a racetrack, a horse racetrack. No casino, just a racetrack. Uh, horse race is pretty big. Two. All right, photo finish comes out strong with two points. Which team is your dad on? Uh, Huns the Academy. And why, what's the name? Why that? Why that name? What do they do? What's... I do not know what Huns does. Um, something we could talk about though as we start off here. I believe he's the guy we can ask. Oh, yeah, we'll, hold on. Cross. we'll have to get to that. Uh, we have, so th we're actually in a, what would you call this, a suite overlooking the racetrack. Beautiful. Uh, like an event suite. Um, they laid down four courts with what, six, are those four by sixes? Yep. So they had, they double stacked four by sixes. Looks like 12 feet, 12 foot. And back wall is dead here. So they're in a tough pickle here. Yeah, it's touching. What a ball. Fran, there's, there's room. There's room to go over there. There we go, we have Paul Gugini. They got him a shirt. Did they get him a shirt? Yep. They got him a shirt. Didn't... Here comes his roll. They already missed two shots. Oh, this is a good ball. That's a heck of a ball right there. That's a good ball. Paolo. The Italian slayer. Sure looks a little tight. <laughs> you know, they probably didn't have a size, I would imagine. <laughs> You know, I respect him for that. Okay. All right, he's rolling in. Oh, what a ball. So he just, he just said, fire away. Flash asking his team to fire away. Now, I believe this man right here in the hoodie at half court won Vegas uh, recently, this past year. Which team? The guy right here in the hoodie. Walking back now, walking back in the hoodie, Warriors hoodie. I'm sorry I don't know his name. I don't believe I've had the honor of meeting him. But uh, recently won Vegas. Yeah, I like that side a lot. Okay. Oh, he's about to shoot, so we're going to see that. Yeah, let's blow it up. Let's see what happens. A little, little John's playing in those backswing. Yeah, that's all dead. That, what a wow. shot. So even though Paul put two beautiful balls for defense. Might be 6-0 pretty quick. It's an easy four points. Yeah. So they're just doing a gentleman's game. Just, yeah, just go ahead and roll. No matter what it's in. It's in. They're counting it. They're counting four there. Four times. It's a great round by photo finish. And this might not be a photo finish at this rate. Games are to 10 today, tomorrow to 12. It's kind of like a round robin play, right, Cooch? 
Yep, round robin, 10 points each game today. Seeds you. Um, question. Um, what was I going to say? I'm sorry, Big E lost my train of thought. He asked me a question cross court. I'm trying to think what other uh, cool things about this tournament are interesting things. Yes. It's our man Luigi. What a ball. With a little backspin. All right, Navina's up to shoot here. Is this the, the women's nationals player? Well, the way she's lining up looks like it. Yeah, that's it, yep. Yeah. She, now, if, if this is the one I would be someone who's telling me about, and I'm sorry, again, I don't know, I don't have a roster here, but she um, went over to like, the World of Bocce um, and was like one of the, is one of the better players out there. Uh, she has another good ball. Now, what an interesting line she had. Like she has like a hop. Yeah, it was like a hop, a skip, that's in, a that's jump. What, that's and a what shot. someone warned me about. It warned me. They just told me like she had someone here, a, a woman shooter here, has a like a, a little uh, skip in her step. That's a nice ball. Wow, seems pretty team. good. Good team. It's no joke. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon almost, right? I know, I'll go get a video of the horse track here. I can in a second. Unfortunately, we left Ohio to come to Texas, and we have Ohio weather right now. Yep. It's like sleet, rain, snow, mainly, Cold. mainly rain, freezing rain right now. Track is uh, slop. We're staying in a historic 108-year-old Airbnb. Yes, Cugini. Everyone knows Cugini's great at booking accommodations for us. Pete Russo's commented, Dario and the family, great to see you. Is that, okay, so that's, that's, I, you know what, I met Dario then in Nationals this past year, um, on my last day when I was leaving. So that's why he looks familiar. And his family clearly is, <laughs> follow suit. Clearly, they all know how to play. Yeah. All right, here she goes. Medina sets up. 90 degree angle bend with the roll. Looks good. Looks short. She's, short. She's not happy with that. That is fun to see it. She's going to be thinking about that throw for a while. 7 0. Game to 10. This might be a 10 minute game. Or it might turn around. Never know. No time limits here. It all comes to this. Did Navina's mom. This is, um, all right, you got room. This is two on two on each side, so not four person walk. No. Nope. Those of you watching at home. We were trying to familiar. convince them to do four person walk, but. Did, did you? We wouldn't do it. No. I said, what if we put it to a vote? <laughs> oh, my dad's pointing well. He is, these are his courts. These are his type of courts. Should have had him on the team. At least he's here on time. That's true. <coughs> I know Carm's watching my, on the plane right now. Sure. He, he paid the $8 for that internet and he's watching right now. So they didn't try to hit that, right? No, I'm surprised. Maybe a tough angle. That looks spicy, right? That looks hot. She gone. That looks spicy. Hey guys, one last thing I forgot to mention. Please do not go all the way across the court. You have your teammates across the court to tell you what to do. Do not cross the midline. We're trying to get this game out of the way. So 
You can conference, but do not cross the midline. Thank you. So that's going to be always measuring. So the ref says, I'm going to call a blue unless you want me to measure it. And the team agrees. They say, no, no measure needed. It is blue. So they got three balls back. going to try to hit it. Can you yeah, three balls back. Soft botch. Luigi. Oh. All right, he opened it. Hit, hit, hit it. I said, oh, you roll into that or hit? No, he, I'll hit again. Paul's going to say, I'll oh, say, why don't you go straight at it? What is your dad telling Luigi? I think he was trying to move his angle, but I don't. I like where he was at. He's telling him in Italian to start throw from throw here on this line. Yeah, they, Paul and Luigi have been talking Italian to each other, which is pretty cool. Right off the rip, that they got a bond. No, nope. for left. Left. And, and go. Hit it. What is he doing? <laughs> Oh, I think he likes it. Oh! <laughs> Paul leaned into that one. He was on the ground. He was on all fours. No, I like the roll. What three balls sitting around? Really? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we're live on YouTube. What? It's 8-0. Say hello to the people. Oh! <laughs> Side uh, sideline reporter Francesca Cugini. Francesca, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are how you? How are you feeling about throwing? So this is Navina. She's a national player. So, so we, yeah. I was like, they look like they played before. Uh, a time or two. She looked at you and said, "I'm gonna eat her alive." I heard her say that. Um, I'm hoping that you think. What are the odds of our game getting a little delayed? Probably good because uh, the team we play is here. With this score, not slim good. to none. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so our team we play um, isn't here yet as well. So that's good. Yeah. Um, I heard they're, bu they're a bunch of hooligans, as he said. They're going to come in rowdy and loud. I love that. that. What if they're coming on a party bus? It'd be fun. They've been drinking since 2 a.m., he said. So How many viewers do we have? I think uh, about 247 million. 47 million. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Fran is our fifth, uh, our substitute. And, but she's also here for another reason. I want to talk about this. Fran, <laughs> oh, she's laughing. Fran runs. Uh, she runs competitively. She runs for fun. She runs for working out. And she just so happened to say, hey, while I'm in Dallas, you know, why don't I just run the marathon that's happening? So Fran's pretty upset with that ball as well. <laughs> she doesn't even care about the marathon. So Fran, you're going to run a marathon on when? Sunday? Yes, Sunday at 7 a.m. That's in Dallas. That's why we're here. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. Fort Worth. That's what? Well, Texas. So Dallas. Texas. Texas. Yep, I was supposed to run an Indy last weekend, but the weather was like 40 mile per hour wind, so Anthony found this one for me. Yeah, that wasn't that one. What a nice husband. Hey, don't worry, babe. You could run 26.2 miles in Texas. And the weather is looking good, too. We're having a cold front here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what does the weather look like Sunday? Oh, my God, that ball. Um, 35. So that's good for a marathon? Yeah, because you don't get overheated. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, well, awesome. I'm looking forward to watching you run. I can't see points, Dante. What's going on? I don't know. It's been – this side can't point. I feel like the other side has been pointing well this side. Uh, what's game the score? Over. It's game over. It's game over. 10-0. All I got to do is make one point. Yeah, this is, this is easy. This is easy for me. All right. Hey, thank you, Fran, for joining us. Bless her heart. So Dario and the family – Shout out to Peter Russo for giving us that name there. Helpful. So they gave people some notoriety here. Game and over. that'll be game, ladies and gentlemen. A quick one that was 10-0. 10-0. We're going to be live throughout the day here, right, Anthony? Yep. So we can, uh, we'll see what game's next here on this court. Yep. We may stay here. We may, you know, find a better game for us. Uh, we'll try to get you some of the Ohio guys, some of the New York guys, so you guys see some familiar faces. Uh, but, yeah, feel free to tune back in. Uh, check our Instagram for updates, our Instagram story for when we'll go live, or just keep checking in on the YouTube channel. We'll be live, uh, hopefully, for a decent amount of time. Anthony, any final words for a minute? Um, final words. I think today will be a great day. I'm excited for all the teams. 
All right. Anything else from you? No, that's it. So uh, take care, brush your hair. We'll see you in about, let's call it, 